This is a 1967 Corvette Stingray. Very nice car here. Elaborate hood. Underneath that hood you'll see is a 427 cubic inch engine. Another option was the 327 with either 300 or 350 horsepower. This one has um, 390 horsepower, 427. And there were even more high performance uh, options on that engine. And there's the side pipes. This is the car that uh, shouldn't have been. The 67 was supposed to be originally what the 68 became, but the styling wasn't ready at that point. So the 67 wound up being very similar to the 66, with the exception of a few styling details. nice engine compartment and under the hood you'll see a an air conditioning compressor so this one has air it's a front hinged hood with an opening there in the back so that the hot air exited towards the windshield now you'll see some chrome there that's shielding for the ignition to clear up the radio reception. That top folded under a panel there. You can see the crease on that panel. And when it was folded down, it disappeared completely under that panel. So it was a very neat uh, application. Nice turbine wheels and uh, red walls. And you can see the black interior and the controls for the air conditioning are there above the clock. Vertically arranged radio there and automatic transmission. A wood rimmed steering wheel console. And full instrumentation here, including a tack and speedometer that went up to 160, I believe, on this model. Now on the back here you're going to see one of the other details of the uh, 67 model very briefly. It's the backup lamps and uh, there they are right above the license plate uh, frame. I couldn't get much better view of them because I don't want to get the license plate in the video. There you can see the uh, filler for the gas tank. And in a minute, you'll see the gill slits there on the front fender. There are five of them. And that was um, a mark of the 67 vet when compared to the uh, rest of the earlier stingrays. This had one more gill slit. radiator. I think the original radiators were aluminum. There's the compressor. The headlamps uh, were in pods that turned uh, with a uh, mechanical motor.